I love the way that my hair looks styled with a round brush. It just gives me volume. You can see all my layers. You know, it's perfectly curled and it stays forever. And I just could not achieve that look on my own. I'd literally have to pop off my head, blow dry it with a round brush, pop it back on. I mean, it's just... You know, it's awkward and it's hard. In the midst of trying to figure out a way to do that, I came up with this cool little trick. It's super simple. Um, you'll just need three items, your straightener, a handful of bobby pins like these, and a hairbrush. Or you can use a comb, whatever you prefer. I've got a regular uh, straightener that I got at the drugstore, nothing too special. This is actually one of my favorite straighteners. It's super inexpensive. It's from made by Remington. It's the wet to straight. I've had this forever and I'm hoping that it doesn't die on me because I just realized that I don't think they make this anymore. So that makes me sad. If you have a strainer that you love and you want to help a sister out just in case, let me know because I'm always up for cool new products. And this one has seen better days, but it still works. So I love it. Okay, so we're going to begin by sectioning off the hair. Section my hair off into thirds. First I'm going to leave this bottom third down and just clip the rest up until I need it. So I'm going to look super cute with this little whatever you want to call it at the top there. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your straightener and grab a section of your hair. The size of the section you're going to grab is just going to depend on how you want your hair to look. You grab a bigger section you're going to have bigger textures and bigger waves and bigger curls. If you grab smaller ones, you're going to have smaller. And this will make sense as we go along, so just bear with me. Like I said, grab a section, and I just like to grab just a little handful here. And you're going to straighten it, and then when you get towards the ends, just kind of curl it in like this. This is the important step. While the hair is still hot, you're going to take your fingers and wrap it around your finger a couple of times. So it looks like this. Now that I have this wrapped into a curl, I'm going to secure it with my bobby pin. And you can just slide it on just like this. Super simple. While we're working on the rest of the hair, this area is going to cool down and it's going to set into this curl. Now I realize some people have maybe thinner hair or the texture is different um, or the length is different. So if this doesn't work for your hair, I'm sorry, but this has been a trick that has worked for me. So let me know if this works for you or if it doesn't. I'm going to grab another section and do the same thing. So we're going to go all the way down until we get to the end. While it's still warm, we're going to wrap the hair around our finger, creating a loop. We're going to slide the bobby pin right into the loop. And it secures it just like that. That's what it looks like. I'm going to grab the last part, same thing, curling it. it around my fingers and securing it with a bobby pin. You can wrap it as much or as little as you'd like. It really just depends on your preference. And once you try this, if it works for you, once you try it a couple of times, you get an idea of what looks best and what you like best. Okay, so this half is done. Now I'm gonna work on the other half. So now that I have my bottom third finished, I'm going to go ahead and section off my hair again and do the middle part. So I'm going to repeat the same steps with this portion of the hair. I like to, as I work my way up, bring my curl closer and give myself a little bit more volume. When I was first playing around with this and had the idea, I thought that maybe the bobby pins would leave a crease in my hair. Luckily, they don't. They actually don't leave a crease or anything like that. If you're worried that this might leave a crease in it, you can 
help that by placing some tissues right between the bobby pin and the hair. That way the tissue acts as a buffer and it kind of creates a little cushion. That could be an option for you if you find that the bobby pin actually leaves a crease in your hair once you let it out. By the way, bomb.com. This is Panera's Ice Green Tea and it is amazing. If you haven't tried it, go try it. It's going to be your favorite, you're going to be obsessed, and you're going to thank me. I hope. <laughs> That's good. So I like to let these set for about 20 minutes. It gives the hair enough time to cool down and then set. If you're short on time and you can't wait 20 minutes, a great tip is to take your blow dryer and to run it across the curls and let it cool down and set that way. It'll accelerate your curl and set time and it'll really give you a nice result. The more layers and the more textured your hair is, the more voluminous, yes, voluminous, voluminous, the more voluminous the hairstyle is going to look. What are you guys doing to your hair this fall, winter season? I'm interested to know. I'm trying to decide if I should keep with the ombre or dye my hair darker. Maybe I'll ride it out through the fall. Maybe just darker ombre? Hmm, it'll be interesting to see. I'm ready for my top half. I'm going to just work on the section in my crown area first. The higher up I get, um, the closer I bring the curls to the root. And that, like I said, will give you more volume. With this section, I'm just gonna bring it a lot closer to the root. I think I'm gonna bring it all the way. So this is what it looks like. And you're going to secure it right at the bottom there. So I'm gonna take that other section and do the same thing now. And like I did with the previous section, I'm going to bring it all the way down, secure it to the root, and just let that cool down and set. So I like to do my bangs a little differently. I take them and part them in the way that I want to wear them, and then I work from the bottom up. I've already sectioned my hair in half, and then section the left half over. Repeat the same process. Now with my bangs, I like to do it a little bit differently. Instead of curling them in, I'm going to curl them out and set them. This way when I release the hair, it'll curl away from my hair and frame my face really nicely. And if you have something like this going on, it's really not that big of a deal. The messier the style, the more natural it looks. I'm going to grab the other portion of the left half. I'm going to curl it like that. And then wrap it away from the base. Once you have the hair curled and pinned back, it really is a low maintenance do. You can go and put on your makeup, get dressed for the day, whatever you have to do while you're waiting for it to cool and set. So it's a little bit of time to you know get the curls and pin them, but after that, simply take off the hairpins and release the hair, and you're ready for the day. we pinned and curled the hair. I know I look a little crazy, but I'm going to go and do my thing for a few minutes, let the curls um, cool and set, and then I'll be back to show you guys the final look. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and I've let my hair set and cool, so now I'm going to start taking out the pins, and you can do this any way you'd like. There's really nothing too special with it. I just kind of take the pin off. As I release the pin, you can see that my hair has just a bit of a wave slash curl to it. And it's gonna look so nice when I release all the strands and they're all perfectly curly and wavy. It really does look like you just got your hair styled with a round brush or blown out. I feel like maybe I shouldn't be saying blown out. Blown out, yeah. The round brush, you guys know what I mean. It'll look like your hair just got styled with a round brush.
and I just run my fingers through my hair, kind of give myself a little bit of volume on top. You can hairspray this if you're a hairspray kind of girl. Um, other than that, you're all done. So this is the final product. You can see my hair has waves in it, it has that natural volume. How easy was that, right? It really does look like I just got my hair um, blow dried slash styled with a round brush. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Leave me some feedback in the comment section if you tried this out and if it worked or if it didn't for you or if you have any tips yourself. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.